your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by Angelic Health Palliative and Hospice Care. Wherever you call home, Angelic Health will meet your needs with a customized care plan for patients with a chronic and or terminal illness. Visit angelic.health for more info. And good Saturday afternoon, meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. Hope your Saturday is going well so far. Temperatures across the area, you just can't beat this for mid-October right now. 67 in Hamilton, 70 in Mays Landing, 68 in Tuckerton, 69 in Marlton. But then you head towards the shoreline, a bit of a sea breeze setting up, only seeing the low to mid-60s in low parts of the shore itself. So you can't get it's nice out there. Seeing some cloud front move in here as we head into the rest of tomorrow. So today we're quiet. That's why I pushed to Sunday here tomorrow because that's where the main action and changes are going to be. So that cold front is going to push on in as we head into later on tomorrow night on into early Monday morning. Could see a shower or two pop up as we head into, I think, before daybreak on Monday and will end before daybreak. So it's a quick hitter. But the bigger story is once this cold front pushes through and low pressure continues to spin up into Canada, a north to northwesterly flow, we'll see sunshine early on, but then Clouds will pop up in the afternoon on Tuesday and Wednesday and feel much more autumn-like with temperatures only reaching up into the 50s. Then we start to calm down as we head into Thursday looking much better. And then we start to see another front push on in as we head into late Thursday on into Friday, setting up for a mild weekend for next weekend. As for Sunday, temperatures again near 70 degrees. Once again, we'll see clouds increase throughout the day. But the good news is no rain showers during the day. So any kind of afternoon or any kind of daytime plans, you'll be fine. Those showers should hold off at least until midnight tomorrow night on into early Monday morning itself. Take a look at the upper air pattern. This is going to be the key here as we head into the beginning, or excuse me, into the week itself. So we're on the chillier side right now in terms of that, but look at this polar vortex coming in. Wow, look at that. It's just, that's amazing out there. And thankfully it's, it's October because if it was December or January, we'd be talking about temperatures in the teens for highs, but overall we're going to see ourselves on a chillier side. So we get a blip back up just a bit to more seasonal temperatures as we head into, I think, next week in itself. But here comes the next one. That's going to be in the extended way into the following week on into the um, yeah, past next week and on into the following week. That's where we can expect to see possibly some more colder temperatures heading into that time frame. Seven day forecast for us. We'll see temperatures mainly where they should be for this time of year throughout the rest of this weekend. Monday rain showers and here we go. The bottom falls out low to mid 50s, even some upper 50s as we head towards the end of the week. And then that warm front pushes on through. So looking at a nice weekend as we head into Saturday and Sunday, you just might have to deal with some cloud cover, unfortunately, as we head into the weekend itself. Have a great rest of the day, everybody. I'll see you tonight.